Ever since we hit 20k VR, this game has gotten way harder online, and we have been at 25,000 VR for a while now. So it's time we finally make the push to 26k today as we are going full tryhard with Yoshi Teddy Buggy all the way. With our new main Funky Kong right around the corner releasing in wave 6, our goal is to hit 30k by the end of the year and defeat our Tat 120 in this legendary race. Check out the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe playlist below so you don't miss a single episode. Race to 30k is on. We have been at 25,000 for eons, for forever. I can't even remember the last time we went up a thousand points in VR. It's been months, so today's the day. We get to 26K. It got way harder to gain VR once we hit 20,000, there's no joke. And you know, I've been playing the game less, been playing more Mario Kart Wii, but we are back on the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe today. And hopefully after this, I get some new refund motivation to get to 30K because it is a long road. I mean, shout out to the people that have like 50, 60, 90,000. Actually, I don't know if he's still in the room, but there was someone in this room last race who had 99,932 VR. That is some dedication right there. So we'll see what we can do here. I just remembered I need to click points in this game. I have one point right now. I can hear the YouTube comment section screaming in my eardrums from the future right there between the coins double coin strat that actually worked out quite nice let's see if we can get a super one. we're fishing we're fishing a bomb oh i keep forgetting you can get this item in first in this game totally busted seven coins i want to unleash this bomb so bad i'm so tempted i'm doing it Okay, these corners are a little tough. I think I hit him with the bomb. He's nowhere to be seen. We have a little bit of a breakaway. I still love this track, by the way. Still love it. It's been a couple months now. DLC, wave five, been brewing. People want to see a list of all my favorite tracks. They want the full tier list, the full track tier list. We learned a few things over the last two months. Let's go. No blue shell. First place, first race. We only have four people on race two, but I mean, it is four Teddy Buggies, four different characters. The four meta characters is actually very funny. You know, you got Peach, Daisy, Birdo, and Blue Yoshi, the meta characters all on the race course today, which is the most meta of them all. We are about to find out after we snag this double item box. Ooh, double red shells is firing greens back at me. It's not gonna connect. We're gonna be firing reds for days. And it connected. Now I'm gonna steal that coin wall at it too. Get this double box. We're in good shape. Toma is going down with two more reds. I'm going for shortcut. So is the person with the invisible green shell. That's Bryce. Hopefully I don't get hit in midair. I'm really nervous. I'm going for the coins. Ten coins. Look at that. I'm getting better at the video game. Collecting the coins. Doing my delay drifts, item management on point. Not gonna be making any stupid mistakes, playing defensive. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe meta is coursing through my veins. And Bryce, you're taking this red shell. I do not care. Oh, and we're taking his double box. I'm just gonna actually keep this one banana. What? How was he that close to me? I did not do anything wrong. All right, all right, it's not over. I could still get mushrooms. I mean, those are mushrooms, but are they enough mushrooms? I don't think they are. Nothing happened. Last place. There goes all my VR. Minus 16. I got plus 11 for first and minus 16 for last. This is ridiculous. Not quite a full room, but we're getting there. Hopefully I can get a little bit of a lead. Maybe pull this mushroom for a bit. That was so crazy last race with the Super Horn. Took me out. And I feel like that person wasn't anywhere near me. That's why it was so shocking. And I literally had deja vu in that moment. Maybe it's just happened in one of my videos in the past. I, I literally had a Super Horn hit me at that exact moment on Big Blue like a month ago. And I felt the same amount of sadness and rage all in one bundle. But we must continue onwards. Mario Kart is all about forgetting the past and focusing 
on the bob in front of you. That was close. And the fire flower in front of you. Because there's always a million of those. I'm actually going to hold this mushroom for a second. Cut this inside. A little grass shortcut. Ooh, piranha plant. Ooh, that's actually really good. I think I'm going to save this, though. This item's actually good to speed you up when you get hit, too. Alright, I'm going to start using it now. While I'm doing the sneaking. This is actually really good. I'm definitely going for shortcut with mushroom. The fact is, I mean, you get an item doing the shortcut makes it so good. Amazing pull. My turn. Oh, no! Did I connect it? Yes. I'm going to get boomerang now. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like... Oh! I don't like this. I just, I just knew it. I, I could feel it. The boomerang is impossible to avoid. The items in general in this game are impossible to avoid. I somehow avoided that one. <laughs> but they feel impossible to avoid. You were getting hit, whether you like it or not, in Mario Kart Deluxe. I'm getting this, though. I can actually get second or first in this race. Oh, I didn't connect any of those. Oh, no, I think I did. I think I did. Maybe not. I don't know. Someone hit someone. Did I just get a mushroom in first when I already had a mushroom? I am so happy I didn't fail that shortcut. I was so, so close to failing it. My alignment was trash. I feel a lot better going top route than bottom route on that one. All right, this track. So, I mean, we keep getting first or last. I mean, there's no in between today. I'm gonna be front running here. The red shell actually connected a little bit laggy, but oh, no, wait, never mind. I still see the peach player here. I'm very confused. And I got no item. I was a little stubborn there. It was double box or bust. I'm definitely getting this double box. No, he's going for it. No, he's not. Okay, uh, he's happy with his items. He's not going for the double box. Good, good news for me. Spam, 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 spam. I, I'm like, I'm just gonna hold this mushroom <laughs> until I get hit. But that took forever. Normally, when a red shell shows up on your radar, you're like one second to react, not five. So I end up being in such an awkward position, I could not even get the trick. I did not have enough speed, despite mushrooming. Very interesting first lap on Sweet Sweet Canyon. We're chucking green shells, we're going for the snipe, but we're probably going to end up hitting ourselves. Maybe not. Oh, I missed, I, I wanted to get that green out more uh, straightforward, and I ended up missing the chain. The green doesn't hit me, we're, we're good, we're good. I'm going for the double box. The chemic player from Netherlands, not going for it, has a mushroom. And now we're in the thick of it. I mean, we're in it to win it now. Anything can happen. I'm really nervous here. I somehow did not get hit by anything. There was a million things that could hit me. I'm about to activate Prana. Go, go, go. Oh, this is really unnerving. I did not get the double item once again. But I'm in a really good spot. Gotta be mini-map looking. That's a very important part. Using it. Come on, go red. Go, go, go. Alright, fourth place. Pretty good. I mean, I didn't pull the mushrooms. People did the shortcut at that. I mean, it's a very, very good shortcut. Last race was one of the more interesting Sweet Sweet Canyon races I can remember. And now we have a track I really enjoy. Let's see if we can get front on this. Fire is definitely a threat. So far, so good. Getting those coins out, getting those red shell blockers. Let's go. And should be able to retake first here. Oh, I missed the double. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Yep, yep, yep. Mistakes were made. Do not miss double item boxes in first. Lesson learned. Good thing this track has a lot of comeback potential. If I get a mushroom here, I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna actually die. The voice inside my head is telling me back. Oh, that was evil! I did not even do that on purpose. No box. The greediness is taking over. I'm in last. 
Alright, I'm going really wide. Wiggler snoozing on the side. I don't even know what hit me. That's this game. Oh my gosh. I gotta focus. I'm actually in a decent spot here. I think I gotta just use this. Definitely. Oh my gosh, we actually dodged. I pulled a shock! Unbelievable. I'm just spamming everything. Go, 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 go. had first if I did that a little bit better I would have got first I think I just gotta restart my drift triple hop around those u-turns and then I would have been in a much better position I would have been able to cut it a little more inside squeak out the victory but I'm in second place pulling the shock after dodging I don't remember the last time that happened we got two bitty buggies a leaf tire pipe frame obviously the classic meta combo Yoshi teddy buggy and uh, we're going full sweat mode in today's video. Next video, once I hit 26k, we will have a little bit of fun and we'll do a randomized combo video. I think that'll spruce things up. And I mean, we can finally do that video considering I have all the parts. I got the final two. You know, I was missing the gold cart and the gold wheels for six years. And now that we have them all, we can do the randomizer full justice. Did I seriously hit the trolley? Shame. Well, I braked correctly. I got a super horned, although I don't really care for this item too much in the middle. I'm probably just gonna burn it here and do the shortcut. Okay, I always forget how long it takes before you can actually use an item when you use the super horn. There's like a whole cooldown period. So. Yeah. Oh. Triple reds? Whoa! Okay, so if you're facing the wall, the red actually will... It, it will pull a Mario Kart Wii and it'll just dive into oblivion. So I need to make sure I'm at least facing forward when I use red shell. Unbelievable pull. Unbelievable. I'm spamming it off. I cannot believe I just got that. I can't believe this bullet bill also. I'm still not in first after goldening for 10 seconds doing two shortcuts. Whoever this is in first is dominating. Just pulled the busted item though. I'm using this. The blooper is terrifying in this game. It is not Mario Kart Wii, but the blooper literally does nothing. No, I lose my item. I'm gonna get comboed. This is so bad. Oh, I shouldn't have done shortcut. I almost never don't go for shortcut, that's the thing. But in that specific instance, I was done. There was nothing I could do. I guess I could have just braked entirely, but I don't think that would have really helped me that much. This is a great pull. Yes! Are you serious? I'll take fifth. I'll take fifth. I always forget how evil people are in this game. They literally backspam on the line for no reason. I do not understand why Nintendo made the shells in this game such lasers. Like, you can barely react to it in time. You have to kind of anticipate it in advance for dodging stuff. And I'm just never going to be a fan of it. Okay, well, I totally missed that snipe, but it smart bounced and hit the peach player anyway. Uh, but yeah, like, it's, it, the, the vehicles move slower, they're more clunky than Mario Kart Wii, so it's like, it's already harder to dodge items as it is, you know, but then you combine it with the fact <sighs> that the green shells are lasers, and the red shells always connect. It's the best items in the game, green and red shells. It's, it's actually comical, but I'm not even exaggerating. The star is nerfed, the bullet is nerfed, the golden mushroom is definitely nerfed. Shock's still pretty good. Yeah, it's a shock. And the bomb, you can get it in first, which is insane, even though it's not as good as it is in Mario Kart. We, I have to use this. I'm gonna get super horned. I'm terrified right now. Getting super horned is actually brutal. It's it's not as bad as getting blue shell, but it's pretty terrible. I'm using this. I'm playing evil today, guys. I'm playing evil. I haven't played this game in about a week. 
so it's time to unleash. I was gonna play nice until last race. Last race put me on full tilt. You guys can feel it. The tilt is real. And now I just need to have a good redemption race, get back on track. But I will not backspin on the line unless it's close, and I have to. But if I have it secured, I'm not throwing my shell back as I cross the finish line. That is pointless. If you're gonna backspam at the line, at least do it like, you know, three or four seconds in front of the finish line. So there's actually purpose behind it because the race isn't over. Oh my God, Super Hornet first. Yes, yes. Thank you, Boo. I'm gonna get hit by this. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We got this, we got this. We are racing our tap 120 to 30k, and he would be proud of that performance. Getting the Shrimla shortcut, getting a breakaway, beating out the blue shell. That is what Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is all about. Paris Promenade. Beautiful. I mean, this track, people, I notice, don't really vote it very much. It doesn't seem that popular, but I love this track. I've never been to Paris. I really would like to go. I don't have plans anytime soon, but for now, I'll enjoy it on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> I mean, I think the best city track is Athens Dash, I think. I mean, it's it's not like guaranteed. I don't know, maybe my opinions will change. There's still a couple more city tracks to go. We got, I think it's uh, gonna be Rome and Madrid. So, we'll see, we'll see. But LA Laps is great. There's a, there's a lot of good city tracks. By the way, I should have chained my item. I'm too busy talking about the cities. This is a terrible item combination because the boo can steal this. Yeah, I, I can't even keep my banana because I'm holding it out. I did everything wrong there. That's not how you play Mario Kart Deluxe. I'm actually going to go wide, go for an item box. I'm still in first somehow, unbelievably, in first place. And now we have the, the combo that I always love. I mean, I keep pulling Super Horns in first today. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm cheating the game. But, I mean, my luck has been pretty good overall. Not amazing it's just been amazing when I'm in first like I think I've pulled three or four super horns today in first when I think it's a 2.5 percent chance today. that's ridiculous all right we're getting blue shell again can I at least all right, so this time at least I get to hold my banana and bring it out and I get to get my speed back up by tricking so I usually don't want to trick off ladders but in certain instances it's better like right there because you get your speed back up I think it'd be better if I go this way Oh, it's definitely faster. <gasps> oh my gosh. How am I living? Okay, gotta watch out for the backspam. And there is backspam, but it is just a measly banana. We're good. Coconut Mall, okay. Maybe we'll do some glider action. We'll see what items we get. Red shell, perfect start. And I mean, it always sucks to get blue shell twice, but if you get second, it's still a pretty great feeling. Yes. What is that lag? You guys see that lag? I, I did not get the double item box because of the lag. It's very confusing. I'm done. Yeah, I, I need to just not care about lines and just care about the double item box. Seriously. I don't even know why I mess with all of this. I just need to focus on the double item box and not mess around. Gotta start treating the game like it's an item based game. Oh, mushroom! Perfect timing. Let's go. The low trick. Alright, double item box. Eyes on the prize. Let's go. Just a very slight lead right now. I'm actually going to use this coin because I'm I don't have time. I only have seven. I'm done. I'm done. There's the blue. Unbelievable. Should be in first half of this. No, he dodged. I'm gonna throw this red. Maybe this will connect. If I get another red, I, he should be done. No. Oh, that's really frustrating. 
That always shoots me sideways a little bit. That banana is on top the curb. But yeah, the, the planter where the palm trees always shoots me sideways. It's so hard for me to mushroom, trick off of it, and then keep my angle for the double box. All right, the camera is now on the right side. I have only recorded Mario Kart Wii the last couple weeks, so it did not even cross my mind. I have to switch the camera. I still cannot stand how Nintendo changed the position counter. Like even like whenever I play Mario Kart in general, my eyeballs, whenever I want to check the position, I always check left. So like even when I'm playing this game, it's very common for me when I'm going to check my position, I will just check the coins and then I'll check <laughs> the lap I'm on. And then I'll remember and then I'll have to switch my eyes to be looking to the right and see what position I'm in. I'm in. So it, it, it's really funny, but I've, I've just been messing that up for years now. And I've messed it up on multiple recordings. I guarantee it'll happen again. So it is what it is. It doesn't really matter that much. You guys have the mini map, which already tells me what position or what position I'm in anyway. You can very easily see the mini map where I am, thankfully. But yeah, I, I'm sure it'll happen within the next month. It's very common. It's hard for me to remember when I play both games so much. How am I not getting blue? Uh, but it's it's very hard for me to remember to switch it every single time. So I'm just gonna keep the video. I was get, I was thinking of resetting the whole video, but I really don't think people care that much. So we're just gonna roll with it. And I gained all this VR too, so you know can't ungain the VR unless I just sat in the last three races in a row. And we're not doing that. VR is valuable in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's not easy to game VR. But wow, that track, such a front running track. Perfect timing, showed up when I started in second. Oh no. This track. Oh, oh, it's 200. It's 200, yeah, no, it's really fast. Okay, I am actually totally down for this. This track's way better on 200. It's not even my least favorite track on 200. While 150, it feels extreme, extremely slow. It feels even slower than, uh, What's it called? It feels even slower than uh, Sky High Sunday, which that track feels incredibly slow when you play it. So I'm actually very excited about this. We do the shortcut now. We do not even need to use the motion gliding shenanigans. So far so good. I have such a breakaway. This is actually worrisome. I mean, this game is distant space with blue shells, which means I'm gonna start getting blue shelled. The game punishes you for getting big leads. But look at that! Four tricks off the eel, and we cut that really inside. That was incredible. Oh, I used the super horn too early. Oh no, we're good! We're good! I don't know why I'm saying, oh no, I mean, oh yes. I just somehow dodged the red shell by being close to the wall there. That was pure luck. And despite the shock, I'm still in first. A second place dodge and a bullet bill. Second place pulled a bullet bill and dodged the shock, and I'm still winning. If we just do these eel tricks right again, we're gonna be golden. All right, here we go, the moment of truth. I only got two. Are you serious? There goes my whole lead. Wait. How am I winning this? My commentary probably did not make any sense that race, but I am baffled at how I won that. Whoa, it feels so slow now. All right, I do love this track, so I don't even care it's back to 150. I was really enjoying that one race to 200. It made me want to do a 200cc session soon. We've just been, you know, every time we play this game, we're playing to hit 30,000. So it's like, we've kind of abandoned 200cc lately, but that was so much fun. 200cc is a little bit tough though with uh, just the way the item system works. I feel like the laggy items are even more of an issue on 200, but the speed of the game is much more enjoyable for me. So I still prefer 200 to 150, but the items work better on 150. The whole meta of the items is just a better experience. I was gonna say it's way easier to get breakaways on, you know, 200cc, but it turns out I don't think it's necessarily that. Instead, I would say it's more so track-based. Because, I mean, Dolphin Shoals is still difficult on 200cc for a lot of players, especially more beginner players. While this track is extremely difficult, even on 150. So, uh, we're getting redded. Nothing we can do here. 
Yeah, we're still in first by quite a bit. I mean, oh, I'm done. I'm getting just comboed into oblivion now. Well, there goes my full lead. I should not have used that. I'm gonna get rid of it again. This is awful. <laughs> this game is really predictable. I uh, should not have used the coin. I should have just had my speed stay lower and then kept the coin. Kind of madness. Okay, wait, I can maybe win this. Terrible decision making. I was so flustered from the double red shell that I just spam my coin. It was like, oh, I only have five coins. YouTube's gonna get mad. God use my coin. And then I made such a big mistake. It didn't matter. I still got the mushroom, did the shortcut. Here we go. Mount Wario. I'm not gonna win this one. We'll do our best. People always pick this track. Top five most popular track in the game. No question. Very interesting to me. I feel like everyone's favorite tracks, for the most part, I agree with. I pick a lot of the popular ones. Even Mario Circuit 3, I, I enjoy that one as well. The only ones I don't enjoy that people pick are this one and Excite Bike Arena. I don't hate this one though. This isn't like my least favorite track like Excite Bike. This is just alright to me, but it's extremely popular to everyone else. I'm so- oh my gosh! Yeah, this track just feels awkward when I play it. It just feels like a super awkward layout. But I think that uh, that's probably the beauty of it to a lot of people is that they're able to master the awkwardness of the layout and then just dominate. That's not me though. I'd be happy to get fourth this race. Alright, we're using this for sure. We're gonna dive down, see if we get an item. Nope, no item. Too much speed from the mushroom. It only works if you do it shroomless in the middle. <sighs> Trees are too powerful. Yoshi tree hugging on Mount Wario. Some things never change. I'm just gonna be very slow here. No! I was so afraid of that happening. I, I could see the banana, just one pixel of the banana from the blooper obstructing my view. I was like, there's a banana there. I just can't see it. I don't think I'm going to hit it. I was wrong. Why did my red just go forward and crack on my green shell? And then his banana is still here. This is the worst race ever. Everything just went wrong there. How did my red go past him? That's what I want to know. And everyone just pulled mushrooms. I'm going to get past. I'm getting fourth this race. I guarantee you. Oh, never mind. Yes, second place. That, that's a win. That, that's equivalent to getting first for me. I'm not Wario. Oh, I'm actually climbing. I only have 60 VR left. Starting in the front, first place burns out. A free ticket to another W. All right, the win streak is over, but I mean, hey, I'll take second any day on tracks that I'm bad at. I tried to do the strategy, it just did not work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm jumping too early. I was, I was doing neutral jumps, but it was not giving me the cool little trick pattern that I love to get. I've done that right before, but it's, it's been a while. I feel like I haven't done that right in like a month. I don't know what happened. Just forgetting tech in this game. Not playing it enough. I'm just gonna use this. I got one coin. I could hear the comments from the future. I can hear you guys from the future commenting, Troy, why don't you have 10 coins? Why or am I even going for coins? I would have never fallen off there if I didn't go for that coin. I'm not going for coins anymore. The whole video has changed. I think I'm throwing this. I, it's gonna connect. It's gonna get him after the booster. Incredible. I got the item and... And I got the coin. All right. It'd be really cool if they gave us like different colors for the vehicles, like not even necessarily different vehicles. If they just gave us the option to be able to change the color of the vehicles, that would be so awesome. I mean, I love how they're giving us character options, 
but it would be especially nice if like I can have a green teddy buggy and then go on regular Yoshi or a red teddy buggy go red Yoshi etc etc that would be amazing random thought but I was just thinking one of the reasons I always use the light blue Yoshi is because it just matches the teddy buggy and the blue roller so well but then again if we had different colors for the vehicles then people would take even longer to pick their combos so maybe it's not a good idea another one that I do not do so hot on I would say I'm probably better at Mount Wario than I am at this one out of all the city tracks this is a bottom two bottom three track for me in my performance not in how much I enjoy the track I think it's a decent track I definitely enjoy it more than Singapore and like Tokyo Blur and I don't know if there's any it's 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 not terrible it's it's bottom four I would say it's somewhere in the middle how many city tracks are there 10 probably about 10 so bottom half but not very bottom it's a little unmemorable for me and I wonder if people who live in the UK feel the same way I was very pleasantly surprised with the LA track. That was such a treat. The one track that grew me the most over time is Berlin. I mean, I think the track's pretty tough and I do really enjoy it, even though when it first came out, I said that track is just, it's just way too confusing and it's not good for beginners, which I do still feel that way. But ever since they added the Thwomp shortcut, even though I don't even use it very much, I just love the track so much more now. All right, totally botched that section. Luckily in this game, the walls are very forgiving. You can hit the walls, you can bounce off them, you can skid off of them, you can dodge reds by getting close to the walls, having the reds crack on them. I'm just gonna drop this in the middle of the road. No one's gonna be able to see it. Yeah, kinda busted, low key. Oh, big mistake. The blooper is too powerful. I miss the double box. That is the theme of the video just me missing double boxes and paying the price. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> okay, you know what? I was done anyway. There was two coming for me. I was actually screwed. It doesn't matter. We're good. We're good. This is actually best case scenario. This is not even bad. I'm going to hold this coin though because I know I'm going to miss the double box. This race is going to be so intense then. I really hope I can just pull it out. No! Did I get the Luigi in the blast? I did. I did. I just got squished. I... This is this track for me every single time, I swear. What? Two red shells in ninth? This was not even my fault, really. I didn't do that bad on this one. I seriously didn't. If I get six, yeah, we can live with sixth place. But wow, that was a classic Mario Kart 8 Deluxe race if I've ever seen one. Shy Guy Falls almost got voted for a third time in this session. So we've not played my favorites, no Mushroom Gorge, no DK Summit, and no Yoshi Circuit. But I still have been enjoying the tracks today, and I really enjoy DK Jungle. This is a great one. I really could already be at 26k if it weren't for a few mistakes, and that back spam <laughs> on the line on Toad Harbor that I still have not forgotten about. But in the comments below, let me know. What is your favorite non-meta combo to use in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Online? You know, post booster course pass, like I'm talking since they rebalanced the stats in wave four and five, what has been your favorite combo to use when you're not using the meta? And by the meta, I mean the Yoshi weight class plus the Teddy Buggy. For me, it's Drive and Spin Buggy, but you guys already knew that. And then Azure Roller still. Okay, I don't know why I threw that back. That was really stupid. I'm gonna get a coin now. It's not gonna be worth it. <laughs> yeah, I got a coin. All right, I'm really paying the price here. But the good news is, is if, oh no! Okay, I'm really feeling it now. I am so stupid. I should not have thrown that back. Too busy commentating, telling you that. I just made like four mistakes this race. Luckily, my driving has been great. Getting the super bounces off the mushrooms. I have an insane lead. I'm not even getting punished for that horrible mistake I just made. I missed the double box and I got a coin. That's what just happened. Uh, and then before that, I mean, throwing the red just made no sense. I should have held that, then the boo would have taken the red. I would have had a mushroom first, though. Okay, see, that's correct. Now I still have my banana. Finally, I'm playing smart. Look at my lead! 
Look at my lead! This time, I'm not gonna get London looped. That's what I'm calling it after last race. That was disgraceful. Tragic, just pure tragicness. All right, we're going for the super horn. My super horn luck has ran out, but the blue shells are nowhere to be seen, so. Uh, we'll take a nice stroll up top. I never take this route, it's so much slower. And it's at the end of the race, but style points. Style points are important. We're almost at the end, let's check our VR. 25981, we can theoretically do it next race. Are we gonna hit 26K on Sky High Sunday? There's only like six players in this room. I don't think I'll hit it regardless. I think I'll be very close to I get first. And there's no guarantee I'm getting first on this track. Also, I will probably be streaming some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the near future as well, because I do need to hit 30K before the end of the year. That is a must. There's no way we're getting to 30K before Rod does if 2024 hits. I know he'll be there before that, there's no question, and I don't think I'll get to 30k before Wave 6. I feel like once Wave 6 comes out, we're gonna be marathoning this game. Funky Kong in the building! We're gonna be 27k, 28k, 29k, 30k, road to 99999. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, probably not. But still, I mean, I'm definitely gonna be playing the game like crazy, streaming it all the time when Funky Kong gets released. I still feel so bad that I didn't get to give you guys the reaction video of when Funky Kong got announced. I've been waiting for Funky Kong for so long. And then, uh, sure enough, I was on vacation for like one week, two days into vacation, Funky Kong gets announced. And I'm nowhere near my computer. Family reunion, had no chance to record that, but I was so happy, you know. It was, it was just one of those moments where I was like, I almost couldn't believe it. Because, like, it's kind of a meme with my outro. Like, oh, once Funky Kong gets added, you know, you gotta subscribe or he's not gonna get added and blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, I mean, I gotta give it to you guys. If, if you guys didn't subscribe to the channel, then Funky Kong wouldn't have made it into Mario Kart Deluxe. And I would not have been a happy camper. But uh, we're a very happy camper. In fact, like I said, we're gonna be marathoning the game. Could not be happier. Oh! Not happier right now, though. I, uh, you don't want to be drifting holding the bomb out. You want to be going straight so the bomb doesn't d just end your life. Doing everything wrong. I am not getting to 26k on this race. I also am not able to take the really cool shortcut at the end because this is not 200cc. So I'm just going to be spamming mushrooms and hopefully able to fire flower at third place. Second place. So I can get second place. No! I felt like I did everything right. I was certain I was getting second. All right, we actually lost points. Ah, this might take longer than I thought. We're doing it on Rainbow Road, for sure. We're hitting 26K. Like I said, it has been forever since I hit 25K. The journey to 26K has been a long time coming. Let's do it right now on Rainbow Road, one of my best tracks. And there's definitely enough players. So, I, you know, if I get first, I should gain 21 or so and be exactly at 26k. That'd be a great stopping point. <sighs> should not have been greedy. I actually thought the Yoshi was not going to go for that. I really did. I'm going wide. I'm just going to give space and get the purple mini turbo. Get the orange. Okay, well, that time I actually left the double box. And I should have went for it. I'm doing everything wrong here on lap one. This is not a good start. And we've got some good players in the room here. It seems like Daisy's getting more popular. I'm seeing a lot more Daisies on the race course. I think people are just tired of Yoshi. I never thought that would happen. The fact you picked all the different Yoshi colors. I, mean, I thought we'd be seeing Yoshi meta forever. But we're, I mean, we're getting a few Daisies in every single race here. Throwing this for sure. If I get more reds. Oh, yes. No! Oh, this is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. I was in such a good spot. It doesn't really feel that way now. Alright, at least I got the box. That's a great pull. This is awful. I, I felt like this was going to be an easy win for me, and this room just got way better. There's no question. I felt like the last handful of races were super easy. I'm, I'm done. I'm so done. Where's this? It's gonna respawn me at the back. Oh, I'd be lucky to get fifth now. This this whole thing is over. Am I getting comboed? No, we're good. We're good. That's a great pull. Just gotta use it. 
This is such a busted pull. If I dodge, I can actually still get 26k. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. All right, fifth place. We still did not hit it, but that is... Oh, plus zero? I don't recognize a single name from when we started the session. In fact, everyone has more VR than me. There's people with 30, 40,000. Everyone has at least 20,000. This is not going to be easy to get to 26K. And I'm running out of time. I have to go in like five minutes right now. So I have like maximum two races to get there. And I still have like 21 VR to go. So I need first right now. End of story. I need to really focus, dial in. Here we go. Super serious Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. When is it not super serious, right guys? Mario Kart is serious business. The end. That's a great pull. Amazing snipe. Okay, I'm really happy with this star. I could not have done this better. I'm tempted to throw the red, but I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should wait until the item set. There's so many boost panels here. I feel like it's better to wait till right after he crosses the item set and then throw my reds. I can't go for that yet. Two reds. Neither one connects. so awkward that whole section I actually threw the red in time this should connect it did it connected I'm still very far away from first though this guy in first really just destroyed everyone didn't he unbelievable Okay, I almost just bombed myself. I got so nervous at the end. I am extremely happy to get third place. I just don't think it's gonna be enough to hit 26K. We're probably gonna need to play another race. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? I have to go in two minutes. I have one more race right now. It's make or break. I either hit it or I don't right now. This is gonna be stressful. I picked Baby Park because time is of the essence right now. I got places to be people to see and I have four minutes to do so and this race is gonna take like three minutes and then I'm just gonna mad dash to my car. Okay, this is it. I lost to Koopa on the Varmint last race. Are you kidding me? Who is this guy? Who is Bird? The Canadian? Is he the GOAT? Is he secretly the GOAT in disguise? This combo can do this well? I thought that combo would be way too slow. I'm, I'm actually very confused right now. I'm gonna go backwards. If there's one thing I learned, playing with Shortcat, bagging is better than front running, sadly. So we're bagging. <laughs> we're gonna bag. <laughs> Let's see. I'm chaining both of these. I'm like a pretty minimal bagger. Even when I bag, I don't over bag. I just like to go fast and drive straight. Ghost is not going to be able to take my item, luckily. What? Can't anticipate anything right now. I think I only need to get like 6th place and I'll gain points. Did I seriously not get that box? Ah, gosh. I gotta play it better than this. I, I'm so frustrated right now. Ah, I'm just getting Mario Karted. I miss when the good combos had invincibility frames. That is not the case anymore. Wow, I am not hitting 26k at this race. I'm gonna have to end the video not hitting 26k! <sighs> Unless we can amount a comeback right now. Big comeback time.
Oh, I'm so nervous about this box right here. The whole the whole race is this box. I somehow got it. I did not deserve that. I was so worried I was just gonna have to rage quit on the video and end it that way, but we actually hit 26k. Beautiful! Oh, that feels so good. All right, we are done. We finished strong, amazing session, really fun, extremely close races, and I made plenty of mistakes, but you know, we're shaking off the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Rust, and it felt good to be back. Thank you guys. Be sure to comment your favorite non-meta combo, and I'll see you guys next time for more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe.